السلام عليكم فرانس ويلكم باك تو شانل ان ذيس فيديو ار جوينغ تو ليرن ابوت ا هاير اوردر فانكشن ذات كان ابلاي تو اول كولكشنز ويتش كولد فيتر ليتس جيت ستارتد سو هير ليتس سي ام هافين ا ليست ات كان بي ا ليست ا سيت ماب ات دازنت ماتر ات ليست اتس كولكشن ات كان بي ريد اونلي اور ميتابول اولس اند اي وونت تو سيليكت سم ايتمز فروم ذيس كولكشن بيزد اون ا كونديشن اي هاف سو هير يو كان دو ذات فيلتر ذا فيرست ثينك تو دو از ذات تو يوز ذات ليست اند تو كول ا فانكشن كولد فيتر ذيس از ا هاير اوردر فانكشن وات دازت مين هاير اوردر فانكشن It means that it takes a function as a parameter. That's one thing. And this function, we call it lambda because it doesn't have any name. This filter operation will return a list of int. If you have a list of string, it will return a list of string. If you have a list of person, it will return a list of person. And here it accepts the lambda, take a predicate, an element from that list, which is an int, and it should return a boolean. It should return a true indicating that that element was selected or false, that it's not selected. So here, let's say I'm selecting the items if it's even. So we do the following. First, you can access the parameter or the element of that list using the it directly. Or you can use the following. You can name it and put its type and use the arrow key like that. This is minus and bigger. And here you can do that, use that number in order to do your calculation and your process. So here I'm checking if the remainder i2 is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, that means it is even, otherwise it is not even. And here, this result will be a list. You can store it here, for example, result like that. And basically I can just print it. If we try to run this, as you can see, here is the result. Result is two, four, six, eight, 10, because this element didn't work. This is how you can work with filter operation. Now, be reminded that you can delete that and just replace it with the it. It means we are talking about that element. Now you can use this on list, you can use it on set. If it is a set, just I'm naming it a list, it, it can work also. And you can use it also on maps. And let's say that I'm having this map right now, and I want to do filtering on that map. You can do the same thing, map.filter. Be in mind that the return type will be also that map, the same map, but as an element for that lambda, you will get a map entry. It will contain an int and a string. Okay, so let's do it. If you use the it, you can see it is a map entry. And if you use the dot, you can access the value or the key. So you can do that filtering based on the key or, or the value if you have some conditions to do on both. So here, let's say that if the value here, let's say the value is A, let's say if it's length, the remainder of its length, let's say it's odd. So here, let's print them. The result will print the map. It will print all the entries that satisfies this condition. Be reminded that you can write anything here, okay? You can write a full process. Let's say that you have a complicated logic in order to filter things. So you can write all the things here, but at the end, you should return that true or false. It should return that Boolean that indicate whether we should select this element or not. So this is basically how you can do that. The result you are seeing here is simply that the key, the, the value here, its length is odd. Okay, so it's a three, three and one. So that's why we are saying this is. Let's say also that you have a complicated logic that involves using the index of, for example, from the list here, you want to use that one and also the index of zero. So you have to do some process with it. You can use filter indexed. It will give you two things. It will give you the index and the int. Here, this it won't work. Why? Because it accepts two things, right? So you have to type them both. You have to do the index like that and the i. And here, you can work with it. So the index will be that just index and the i will be the value. So if we print them here, in order to keep them in one line, you should use this semicolon because you can't do that. You can use semicolon or you can type them in separate lines. I want to keep them on the same line. Here, I'm printing everything. So as a result, you will see the following. You see two prints, okay? So zero, one, one, two, and so on. This is filter index. There is another variant for this filter, which is filter not. Basically, it's the same as filter, but it do the reverse. So as you can see here, return a list containing all the elements not matching the given predicates. So this is a simple variant also. And let's say also that you want to, let's say if you have some kind of objects here and there is a nullable thing and you want to get things, only the non-nullable things. So you can do filter not null, like the following. It will get all the not null things from that list. So this is also a useful method to work with. Finally, you can do something very clever. So here you can do something called partition. So this partition takes also lambda that work with predicate. I can do the same predicate I used before, following. And let's say it's equal to zero. Now this partition will return pair of list. So the first list will be matching this condition to equal true here. The second one won't match, okay? So the elements that return false, for example, the nine will be in that list. So if you run them, you will get the following two lists. The first one matches this predicate, the second one does not. So this is also a useful method to select 
things that you want. So this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.